Oh, hey there guys. I'm just doing some selfies for my new guide profile photo. I'll be with you in a second. Hi there and welcome to Be A Better Guide. I'm your host, Kelsey Toner, and this week we're talking about guide profile photos. Now this is a photo that goes next to a description of you as a tour leader or tour uh, guide. It's not necessarily the photos that you have in your tour description, but here's the thing. The majority of tour guides actually have terrible profile photos. And this is kind of a big deal because every day, visitors, potential clients, potential customers are coming to that website and looking at that picture, judging it, examining it in great detail, trying to figure out who you are and if they want to come on tour with you. So there's a bunch of do's and don'ts that I'm going to share with you today for having an amazing guide profile photo. Now I want to show you a couple examples, so let's hop onto the computer. Let's start with some things to avoid. No selfies, especially those that are taken in a mirror or those that clearly show your arm. No funky filters. I'm looking at all of you Instagrammers out there that like to put weird filters on, not the best place. No pixely or grainy photos. This tends to happen if there's poorly exposed night shots or the lighting isn't very good or the quality of the camera is not good. No intense or serious photos. You really want to be looking friendly and approachable in your photo. Many guides, unfortunately, have a bit of a scowl in their profile. No blurry or out of focus pictures. No sunglasses. So many guides, even if you wear sunglasses all the time, please, please, please take off your sunglasses for your profile photo. It's very important important for them to be able to connect through your eyes. No full body action shots. The most important thing in your profile photo is to show the features of your face. Far away photos, not good as well. No pets or kids or props if possible. Another common mistake is if your face is cropped in any way. So part of the top of your head is missing, maybe the bottom or your chin, anything like that. No photos cropped from a larger photo. This is often very obvious and it can reduce the quality of the image, but also sometimes you get weird floating body parts like your friend's hand or something like that. So even if you look fantastic in that photo of you and your friends, you need to have a dedicated shot just for your profile. I would avoid cartoons and caricatures like drawings of you in your profile. Again, people want to see the real you. For most cases, no black and white photos, and perhaps the greatest sin of all, no profile photo uploaded at all. If you don't have a profile section of your website, you really need to create one, and this is a place where people can learn more about you. You don't want a faceless silhouette on any of your online profiles. So let's talk about some things you can do. One, get a professional headshot, something with a lot of energy that's taken by somebody who's trained on how to use a camera. Have a big, authentic smile, and an authentic smile is really important tends to come from the eyes. You want to make sure that you're the focus of the image and that the photo has good composition. As a rule of thumb, your head and shoulders should fill the frame, but not square on. This isn't a passport photo shot. Ideally, you're exuding approachability. In regards to clothing, look the part. What do you normally wear when you're guiding? That is great to include in your photo. Choosing a photo that looks like you is important and avoid old photographs where you look different or maybe had different hairstyles or facial hair. Keep the background as simple as possible and in your element is ideal. If you work outside as a tour guide, having an outside background is really nice. Let's quickly look at a few fabulous guide profile photos. This is Safari Mama Kagiso from Safari Specialist. Look at that warm, radiant smile and energy that comes through the photo. Here is Zell Letterman on a Jerusalem two-day tour. You can see his photo has that energy. He's in his element. He's right there in Jerusalem. Pedro is an intrepid leader in Brazil, has just a wonderful shot of him genuinely smiling and laughing. And a couple examples from Backroads tours is Federica Verango and Fabio Marzi, two friends of mine who work in Italy and look at those fabulous smiles there in their element. These are wonderful, wonderful people and their personality comes through their photographs. So there you have it. Take a look at your own profile photo, follow these do's and don'ts, and before long, you'll have a profile photo that is taking the interwebs by storm. In the comments below, let me know. Do you have pet peeves when it comes to profile photos? Do you have some advice that you'd like to share with the community? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for being here. Please share this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. There's nothing quite like the smell of a fresh beard. It's mostly just glue. <laughs>